Hey team, I hope you're having a great day. Um, a thought came across my mind this morning uh, and I wanted to share it with you as quickly as I could. And thinking in biblical terms and in Jesus's time, as he called the disciples, uh, he recruited them in an ingenious way. He gave them uh, very little time to think about serving him. And uh, he said, drop your nets and I'll make you fishers of men. And it, we see it over and over again in scripture where the call or the challenge to serve and follow Jesus uh, is, is one that requires immediate obedience. And a little bit less important than salvation and to follow Christ is, is one to serve him in the local church in regards to, to the local ministry. And we know that here at Focus, that one of the four eyes is involvement, and we want to push people serving. If you're a leader watching this video, you know how necessary it is to have people that not only follow Jesus, but help others follow Jesus by serving in the local church. And um, this thought just came across my mind uh, in regards to volunteer recruitment. And what I've done is I created a little line graph behind me that we're going to get to in a minute. I've titled it uh, The Recruitment Window. And uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes at like 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, you're watching an infomercial and you're like, man, I need that Chia Pet so bad. And uh, you pick up the phone. I have never picked up the phone, but they the line that they use at the end of the pitch on, on the infomercial is, if you call within the next 30 minutes, we'll double your offer or free shipping or you can get it for half the price or whatever it is. And I think that it's important for us to realize just like that company realizes, is that the time between when you ask someone to do something and the time that they get uh, to actually start doing it, it needs to be a brief window. And uh, there's some emotional attachment that comes with being challenged to either buy a Chia Pet or serve as a greeter or everything in between. And I want to go over with you some things that I thought about that hopefully will help you. Uh, we've established a resource, igettoserve.com, but it's only a tool if it's in your hands being used. Uh, the, the website itself doesn't recruit new volunteers, but you do. And so when you use that tool, it will help. And I just want to kind of show you uh, what I was thinking about. This is the recruitment window. That, and uh, this 100% here at the top of this axis is the emotional attachment to serving. This is a person who's like crazy eyes, all in, I'm ready to pastor this church tomorrow, give me the microphone type person. That's their emotional level is at 100%. You've met them and I've met them. And sometimes they stick. Sometimes they leave in two weeks to the next church that they have the crazy eyes for. And then down here on this axis is the day of the challenge. So if they get invited to lead a small group, host a small group, child care, or if they get invited to be a greeter or be on the worship team, uh, this is the day of and this is their emotional attachment. So both of these things coincide with one another. And here's what happens. On the day that you make the challenge, they're probably a normal person would be around 80%. The Holy Spirit has moved on their heart. They've been convicted and challenged by the word. And so they're like, you know what, honey? We need to start serving at this church. That's the day of the challenge. Now, if, if we're not careful, what will happen is, is if, we don't, if we don't watch the recruitment window, what tends to happen almost always is that their emotional attachment to serving wavers as the week goes on. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how am I supposed to do this immediately? Well, I think that the window needs to be between Sunday and Monday that we make sure that we are recruiting. I think any less than 60% is going to be a big problem. Any less than 60%, we're probably not going to get them serving in this window right here. So what does that mean? That means that we need to leverage the lobby a lot more after service. Even on days that you're not serving, and even if you're watching this and you're not a leader of a team, you need to be recruiting if you're involved at this church. Because here's the deal. They've been emotionally challenged. They've been challenged to serve the local church. This Sunday even, I'm speaking a sermon on how to, how to serve the local church. And as their emotional attachment to serving is high, we need to make sure that we're in that window between Sunday and Monday. Because here's the deal. The distractions of life will dilute their willingness to serve. I'm going to say that one more time. That the distractions of life, the things that come on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, will dilute and distract them from the emotional attachment that they had 
with serving. So what I want to challenge you to do is this, is to have an action plan, a, a, a 24 hour action plan. Call within the next 30 minutes and we'll double your offer type plan. So if you signed up to be a greeter today, I want you to know that by next Sunday, you're going to have a lanyard in your hand. We're going to have a t-shirt uh, uh, for you. We're going to have a, a training video for you. And you're going to know that you're now a part of the team. There's not a 12-week course. There's not a, a, a theological requirement that you have to meet. There's no verses to memorize. We want to make sure that we maximize this window of recruitment within the first 24 hours of the challenge. Now this Sunday I'm preaching hard on serving the local church and that's why I, I make, I'm making this video. If you can make yourself available in the lobby, if you can find other people to help you in the lobby and just to be ready to watch people. Have lanyards ready. Have t-shirts. I get to serve t-shirts ready. Have your iPad or your laptop out ready to pull up igettoserve.com. It's only a tool if we use it. If not, it's just a, a website. But I believe it's a tool and I believe that we can use it. And I believe we should really emphasize this recruitment window of the 48, 24 to 48 hours after someone has been challenged because that's when it's fresh in their mind. It's one of the biggest reasons why I don't take Monday off. Most pastors traditionally take Monday off, they play golf, they relax after Sunday. But for me, I know that there is a window of recruitment, that the experience that people just had with the Lord is fresh on their minds. The distractions of the week have yet to catch up with them, and they're willing and ready to be reminded of how good God has been, and their chance to serve is also in that bucket. So be sure on Sunday and every Sunday to watch the window of recruitment, the recruitment window right here. We want to get them between 80 and 60% emotionally charged to serve, and we want to get them between the day of the challenge and Monday evening. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. God bless.